Well, it's finally confirmed. Production of the venerable and internationally popular CZ-550 line of rifles has been permanently discontinued. That's right. They're no longer making any 550s. As of March 2020, the CZ-550 has been officially discontinued. Right now, they're selling out their existing stock of 550s, and when that stock is gone, it's gone for good. The CZ-550 Safari Magnum is based off of the classic Bruno 602 uh, Magnum Mauser action. It's the last of the non-custom, double square bridged Magnum Mauser action production rifles. These Magnum 550s went through several runs with several different names over the years, such as the Standard, the Lux, the Safari Classic, the Safari Magnum, and finally the American Magnum. The big draw to the 550 isn't just that it's a controlled round feed rifle chambered in dangerous game cartridges. I mean, you could get that with the uh, Winchester Model 70 and the Ruger Hawkeye African. The huge draw to these rifles was that the 550 Magnum was chambered in many of these classic African cartridges like the 416 Rigby, the 404 Jeffrey, the 458 Lot, the 450 Rigby, the 500 Jeffrey, and the 505 Gibbs. With the 550 now out of production, you now have to have a rifle custom made to shoot most of these iconic classic cartridges. In fact, the CZ-550 was probably the only thing keeping many of these cartridges alive. Also, rifles like the Winchester Model 70 can be pretty hard to get around the world and are very expensive around the world when you can get them. By contrast, the 550 was a budget-priced rifle and could be found in every gun store from Australia to Zambia. The CZ-550 was a true international favorite. Because the 550 Magnum action is so sought after for custom builds, the price of used 550s are sure to go way up in the future. So if you want a Magnum Mauser double square bridge action for a future build, I highly suggest that you get one of these 550s right now. But now it's time for a little bit of tough love on these rifles. The cool chamberings and value pricing of the 550 aside, the last 10 years of 550 Magnum rifle production had a lot of problems. You know, the tooling used to make these rifles was seriously worn out and outdated, which created many issues consisting of everything from ugly machine marks and rough finishes to uh, rifles that wouldn't feed ammunition properly. You know, I've dealt with that. My last four 550 Magnums had to be sent back to the factory and two of them eventually went to American hunting rifles for work. You know, even this rifle right here that I haven't sent back yet has feeding issues once in a while, you know, and uh, the sights aren't exactly right on them either, I don't think. I plan on sending this gun out to Wayne at American Hunting Rifles for the number two upgrade. You know, uh, Wayne will add a three position safety to it. Um, he'll add a better single stage trigger to it. You know, he'll smooth out the action and work on the magazine to fix the feeding issue. He'll add better sights to this, you know, and uh, cut and crown the barrel. You know, basically, I'll spend almost an extra $2,000 to turn my CZ-550 into a Winchester Model 70. Speaking of which, 550 Magnum quality has been so bad the last several years that most American hunters are sending their rifles out to Smiths to get completely reworked. Many gunsmiths like AHR have made a lucrative business out of fixing poor quality CZ-550 rifles. So things were getting bad with the 550s and CZ knew it. But most serious safari hunters know that if you want an affordable big bore rifle to hunt with that's ready right out of the box, you go out and you buy a Model 70. But if you wanted a budget custom gun 
chambered in a oddball classic safari round, building a custom gun off of a 550 safari magnum is the best way to go. You know, in order to have a 450 Rigby built on a double square bridged magnum Mauser action, you could spend $15,000 or more on the Rigby or tens of thousands of dollars on a Wesley Richards or a Johansson rifle. Fully customizing this 550 to Rigby standards will cost you about $5,000 and that includes the cost of the rifle. So that's a huge savings on an awesome custom safari rifle if you build off the 550. So in the end, CZ had a choice. They could cut their losses and save their reputation and quit making the 550, or they can spend a fortune to upgrade their equipment and tooling and continue making rifles for a small market of safari hunters that already had rifles to choose from. So unfortunately, CZ made a business decision and that decision was to discontinue the 550. So that ends the era of the 550 that started after the fall of communism in Eastern Europe and continued right up to 2020. No other single model of rifle had an impact on modern African safari hunting like the Bruno 600 and the CZ 550 did. Never again will a cheap or budget priced controlled round feed rifle be chambered in such amazing cartridges. No other budget bolt action rifle will ever be made to handle the likes of the mighty 50 caliber dangerous game cartridges. When you close the bolt on a big bore cartridge, while you feel the weight of that clunky, over-engineered piece of Czech steel, you know you're holding something special. Unfortunately, after today, you might also be holding a piece of past history. It may not seem like it to some, but the hunting world lost something great. And even though quality was slipping towards the end over there with the 550, we lost something that can never be replaced. Even though the subject matter in this video wasn't really uplifting or inspiring or educational, I still hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks for watching and good hunting.